This video is an attempt to convey to uh, Pressa Tech Support the issues I'm having with my Pressa i3 Mark III S Plus printer with the uh, MMU installed. Uh, both of these are less than six months old. I think I purchased the uh, Mark III S in August 2021 and the MMU shortly after that. Since the installation of the MMU, the, the printer has had numerous issues. Uh, probably one out of three or every five prints uh, failed because of filament feed issues. In some cases the filament is ejected back out of the MMU past the traction gear, what they call the pulley in Chapter 5, uh, pulley body assembly, Step 5 in, in the manual, and therefore it can't be grabbed again and pulled back in. In some cases the filament's not removed from the extractor and the printer cycle completes and the uh, and the uh, extruder head cools down, now the filament's cool and stuck inside the extractor head. Uh, even preheating it, reheating it, uh, makes it a tough pull to get it out of the extractor head because it's cooled inside. In some cases the MMU pushes the uh, filament towards the extruder, retracts it, pushes it again, retracts it, and, and the cycle continues until I either stop it or the printer gets tired and quits. The filament may or may not reach the extruder head. In some cases the MMU does not reset at zero. It doesn't shuttle left and right prior to uh, pushing the filament through. And the filament's pushed into air where um, the uh, what's called the FND FINDA, FNDA, um, which I'm going to show you in the next uh, portion. Um, it's not lined up with the filament. This is the um, FINDA FNDA and um, this does not recycle left and right resetting at zero every time and sometimes it's aligned to say filament hole 3 and um, filament hole filament 4 is pushed out into, into inner space. Um, really annoying. Really wish uh, that the MMU manual was assembly manual was available in print form. Uh, working with it on the internet is an internet controlled issue is nothing but annoying in my opinion. Trying to find the same page as before, you have to leaf through whatever. You can't bookmark them. Um, they're they're just tough in my opinion. For impressive support emails, you guys want to know what the IR sensor value is. I'm unable to provide that. Um, these are the only two sensors I see under support sensor information. Um, I, I don't see IR sensor, so um, uh, I'm 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 confused. I would really like the Mark III printer and the MMU2. Um, to be installed and working properly and this is just annoying. So I made a video of a standard print and I'm, I'm going to talk my way through the video in, in association with the video. So here goes the video. Okay, I'm going to try and make a video of uh, what my Pressa Mark I3, Mark III, whatever, uh, Mark III Plus printer with MMU installed is doing. So I'm going to press OK at this point. I'm going to go, oh, I want to uh, go down and look at settings. It's uh, PLA, that's what I'm using. So let's see if there's anything else there. Nope. Main, come back to settings, calibration, statistics, failures, support, uh, firmware I'm showing 3.10.0-4481, a uh, bunch of junk, set for 1.75 millimeter, Mark III, Etsy, dates, yeah, it shows the MMU2 connected with firmware 1.0.6-372, Sensor information. Uh, right now the filament's sitting waiting to be loaded in the MMU. There's nothing in the tube. And I'm only showing two sensors. I don't know if that's right. Uh, but they're both showing zero. Um, belt status, temperature, voltage, whatever. Okay, I'm going to come back up. Go back to main. See if there's anything else. Okay. Coming back to print from SD card. 
and uh, in this directory I have some um, bookmark files. They use two different filaments for this one here. It uses draws on four, uh, F4, F5. I'm going to press select and now we're going to bed heating. And uh, it says 32 minutes. Let's see what happens. Let's see where I can go. I can go to support. I want to go down to what they were asking about uh, sensor information. I'm going to stay there and uh, I'm going to pause the print while it comes up to temperature because it's going to take a while. Kind of interesting. Um, I'm not sure what the temperatures are coming up to but the bed heat light is flashing on and off I can only assume because the bed's now up to 215. Um, now it's coming back. It's going to calibrate as it normally does. It's going to do 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now it's going to come back up to the front. And at this point, it should be loading filament. Um, you heard the MMU do something. This is kind of unusual because 50% uh, of the time the MMU does not go left and right. But it comes back. And... MMU is loading filament. This is what my sensors are reading. The filament, if you can see it, the filament stops short of the extruder head. Uh, we're not printing anything. Um, this is also kind of unusual because Usually, the MMU doesn't even scan left to right to, to reset its um, zeros, its indexes. Usually, it just stays there. It just ratchets, whatever. Um, so at this point, I'm going to stop the print because we're not getting anywhere. There is no filament down on. So, at this point, we're done. Um, let's see if the MMU actually extracts the filament previously. If it has gotten it, the filament this far, it hasn't extracted, it hasn't retracted the filament. This time it's retracting the filament. So, there's something wrong here. Uh, this is just frustrating me. Um, and, and none of the videos, none of the support um, downloaded this one and printed it. Um, and uh, it was, I'm going to come up to the front, um, this was the uh, download and it says relevant to the uh, 3S Plus which is mine, uh, I chased it through and I got absolutely nothing and at this point we're aborted and uh, I'm going to call it quits. I'm frustrated with this, I want it to work right, it's a neat system when it works, um, but I will tell you that one out of every three to five prints that I started failed because of the MMU, and um, it's frustrating. What I desire is a solution. I think the uh, Presa Mark III printer um, and the MMU is a fantastic tool when it works right, but it's not consistent, and in the last week, I have not been able to print anything um, and, and I printed numerous things before, but as I stated, probably one out of three, one out of five failed because of filament feed issues, and I'm finding nothing anywhere in tech support, uh, YouTube, uh, Pressa, on the emails, um, nothing that's, that's solving um, or addressing the issues. Uh, I, okay, what is the IR sensor value? I don't have an IR sensor value to give you. So I'm making this video so you see what I'm fighting because at this point I am 100% frustrated with 
the the press of printer in combination with the MMU2 and and I think it's a great system when it works it's not working and I I I'm asking for a solution um, or I'm going to send everything I can back because uh, because it's useless to me if it doesn't work thank you